Test number two, uh, we have a 1000 watt grid tie inverter. Um, as you can see, red light on because we've just got power from the uh, grid. Just shows that there's not enough power coming out. Uh, we're connected at the minute through to the uh, capacitor bank. And of course, we're at, uh, under the amount needed to power the grid tie inverter. Uh, basically, um, I'm going to show you amps in, amps out again, and uh, see how far or how fast we can uh, charge the caps to the height needed for the grid tie inverter. We're starting uh, test two here, uh, run battery 1815, and so that's from test one, test two. So test two, 1815, cap bank 1050, and the load is the 1000 watt pure sign inverter. Uh, I'll test the amps in and the amps out. So I'm going to set this system on. We're not going to loop the system this time. So, so we're working. Capacitor bank is starting to climb. And we reach there we go we've reached what we need for a stable voltage and of course the system's drawing so there's a little bit of a fight but our system is faster maybe not <laughs> ah, there's a pulse. There's a pulse draw. You can see they go down. working we're still pumping into the system as the pulse uh, stops we have uh, time to increase a little bit and we go down again question is can we uh, keep it at this level check the amps going in 0 0.16 0 0.5 0 0.15 and the amps coming out almost 280, sorry. Of course, it is drawing, but we're still pumping into the grid. We're able to charge back up again until the inverter sucks Still, yes, we still have green light, meaning the system's pumping. Sorry if you're all getting dizzy, but I think this is an interesting uh, possibility that uh, 
on the first test we were able to charge another battery which could be used to pump into the grid so we can charge two batteries we can have one pumping into the grid system while the other one's uh, charging itself and giving us a little bit of energy uh, in the meantime and then we uh, rotate the batteries um, with some kind of uh, Arduino uh, circuit and of course the batteries and the capacitor life will depreciate every cycle but uh, be another alternative to uh, yeah I know we say solar but if you don't have uh, any sun this uh, this setup could be a possibility or incorporate this char fast charging setup with another uh, over unity uh, setup a generator of a kind that would allow us allow uh, the charge of these batteries all ideas um, and we're still pumping into the system and what do we have on the scope Let's see if I can stop it that's where we're at Hertz one hundred and five. It's the minimum value, maximum. I don't know if you guys can see it with this. It's got a very good DC true average RMS, true AC RMS. Let's see what the. Uh, Amperage is now same as it was before. Two ninety, two eighty. possibilities larger setup larger inverter could pump back into the system faster to those countries that uh, that are getting payment for energy this could work So we're still on the uh, the grid tie inverter is sucking. Okay, well we've been uh, at this for eight minutes, nine minutes now. I'll uh, take it off and so we switch off. course then we can start to increase again as normal because there's no draw on the system and now I turn the system off and see if we can make a small reading there's a bounce 
So for nine minutes of power, we started at 18.15, and we're bouncing back up, of course. So if we, if we approximate that we end up with 17.15, for nine minutes we've used uh, one volt DC. Uh, power for nine minutes of uh, pure sine energy back into the into the setup into the system. So uh, we're bouncing back on the battery, of course, and the cap bank, of course, was at. 1050 to begin with and we still have 1160 so also so we're already over the uh, amount of energy we used from the battery and what we still have left in the uh, capacitor So that's also um, showing an amount of energy that, uh, if we say one to one, okay, the systems run with one volt, but then you take from the equation what we've been pumping into the system. Another thumbs up. Okay, John, come back, please. Thanks.